It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. Okay, y'all, I hear you. I have heard you. And uh, for the last three weeks, I've been inundated, just a lot, inundated with requests for more anime on the channel. Three weeks ago today, I first listened to music from the anime tradition, and I started with Il Vinto Doro from JoJo's Bizarre uh, Adventure. And I remember that episode fondly, y'all. I had a good time with that one. I remember the music being just fun and infectious and groovy and jazzy, and I was all about it. And many of y'all uh, said, well, if you like that, you're going to love Tank from Cowboy Bebop. So that's what we're up to today, y'all. And I'm happy that you are joining me. So Cowboy Bebop, it was an anime back in the late 90s. Uh, it is also a kind of Japanese space western. It ran for 26 episodes back in the day, and the series drew inspiration from several different types of genres, from science fiction, uh, classic westerns, and even crime dramas, like the noir uh, crime dramas. And in this series, we follow the lives of a traveling bounty hunting crew uh, aboard their spaceship, the Bebop. It reminds me of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> a little bit from how it is described. And uh, this song, Tank, is the series opening song. And it is written by Yoko Kano, and it is performed by the Seatbelts. The song is described as a big band jazz piece with a Latin-infused hard bop style. Where do I sign up? That sounds like a good time, y'all. Uh, the soundtrack album for Cowboy Bebop was released way back in May of 1998, and Tank leads off the album. Uh, composer Yoko Kano leads her band The Seatbelts in this performance, and by my count, there are dozens, I mean dozens, of musicians in this band. I cannot wait to hear this, y'all. It's not very long, uh, but uh, I am looking forward to hearing what it is all about. Are y'all ready? I think that I am. Here is Tank by Yoko Kano from Cowboy Bebop. Off we go. Yes. I love the real bass. My hand drums. I think it's time to blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Let's jam. That was Tim Jensen on uh, the voice part. Nice. Bye. It's also kind of bluesy. This is radness, y'all. Goes to the four. The brass players are awesome. Back to one. Big five. And that's not back to four on the way back. C minor, but on the way up it's using the Dorian 6. 
playing brass players. Right. It's like five to natural, six to one on the way back. Reminds me of The Incredibles. And I love that soundtrack. Back to the one. That riff gets transposed to those different chords. Take my money, y'all. I love that. I absolutely love it. You know what? It's going to be a while before I hear it again. You want to hear it again now? I think I'm going to make a power play because I want to show you some things that are happening in that, but it's going to be hard. It's going by so fast that it's going to be hard. It was hard for me to think about even stopping that and interrupting it. But now that I've heard it uh, in its entirety, it's really short. Uh, maybe let's go back and listen to it again and I'll stop and start it and show you a few things that I think I hear going on. You with me? Let's do it. We got, we got five more minutes. We can do this. Tank from Cowboy Bebop. I should have worn my cowboy hat today, y'all. <laughs> this is awesome. Tank from Cowboy Bebop. Off we go again. Big C. Yeah. Soul se fa me te do. It's got that. Hang on a second. Cool. So we're in C minor. Right? And it's just going from the root up to the fifth, down a half step to the fourth, to the minor third, skips down to the subtonic, and then back to one. It's a riff on a pentatonic melody with the passing note in it. Like. Right, so it's got that little passing note from sol down through the, the flat five to the four. And then when I think when it goes to the four, That's how you're going back and forth between the one chord and the four chord in this situation. Uh, we're going to keep on rolling. I think it's time to blow this scene. I think it's get time to blow together. this scene. Get everybody. Okay, three, two, one. Let's jam. Let's jam. And it's so cool with the brass. A slightly different rhythm, but the, the melody is the same as the bass. There's a G. And it goes up to A. triplets underneath it. It's just a straight four, right? So 
much fun. It's, it's uncommon for them to use the raised sixth in the bluesy progression like this after the five chord. That should be an A, a flat instead of an A. I didn't catch who does the uh, saxophone solo either. No. I would absolutely tune in on a weekly basis to watch this show just based on the theme song. dominant. Fun. Fun. Uh, you know, we do so much music on the channel that is on really harsh, dark themes. I love it when I get to enjoy myself and there's not there's not much lyrics it's just the very beginning it's it's not even lyrics I think it's time we blow this scene get everybody and the stuff together okay three two one let's jam that makes sense if the uh, characters are traveling bounty hunters <laughs> in space right totally cool I want to talk about Yoko Kano for uh, a bit. I, I didn't know her work before reading in for this video. She was born in 1963 in Japan and was educated at Waseda University. Uh, her major was not music. I found that quite interesting. She studied literature, but she had studied uh, piano privately from a young age, and she began transcribing music for student groups. And if uh, that was uh, a skill of hers to be able to pick things out and notate and transcribe things for th that's trust me y'all that's uh, uh, you, you can you can make a little bit from that and and be uh, fruitful in your work because not a lot of people have that set of skills um, her parents had insisted on a steady diet of classical compositions uh, for her in her listening and in her playing as a kid and while she was at school at university she was exposed to other styles of music and she was especially taken with drums and complex rhythms heard that all the way through the uh, the uh, the composition right and uh, while she was still at school uh, some people with the Japanese video game Nobunga's uh, Nobunaga's, sorry, Nobunaga's ambition asked her to compose music for that particular game. And when that game became a hit, so did she. And her career was launched at that time. And with her interest in a variety of styles, she became, I think, really well suited for creating music for games. And uh, I'll leave you with this. I found an interview that she gave and she was asked if she has a favorite musical genre, especially with, uh, within her composing work. And here's what she said. She says, I hear everyone talk about how many genres I work in, like, uh, like classical and jazz and others, but personally, I don't divide music by genre when I'm creating. I don't create by saying, I need to create a classical piece here, or I must create a jazz piece here. When I create music, I do not consider at all which genre I like best, but what the scene or the anime calls for, like a love theme or a darker mood or any kind of mood. There isn't one genre that I like more than the others. I find all of them satisfying and all inspire me in different ways. I love that quote. I love that approach. And, you know, I'm 
a little bit similar. I, I studied classical music exclusively for decades, y'all. And in, in the process, I missed a lot of the prog and rock and metal stuff that was going on around me. So that's really what the channel has been about for the last few years. And uh, I also missed anime. I really didn't have any connection to anime at all. So I'm just now getting into some of this uh, artistic uh, outlet. And so far it seems really fun and and uh, like it's not taking itself too seriously, but there is expert craftsmanship in the music, and I expect that there would also be expert craftsmanship in the storytelling as well. Uh, I look forward to looking into some anime uh, uh, episodes and and uh, other shows as well, and continuing on to get this music in my head as much as possible, especially if it sounds as fun as Tank from Yoko Kano and, and the anime series Cowboy Bebop. This has been fun today, very much fun. I look forward to the next time we do anime, but that is all for today, my friends. I thank you for being with me, and we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.